Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing an Edgy Custom Works Airy Striker S1 dual bore barrel, 550mm in length. Also we're going to be installing an Action Army Airy Striker hop up unit. So here we go with the disassembly of the unit. I've already removed the outer barrel and now I am just undoing the grub screws that hold, well, the hop up screw and now I'm installing the screw that leads into the bottom of the original hop-up unit. Go very careful with that screw that you remove out of the bottom of the hop-up unit as if you uh, burr it or damage it in any way then that is what your BBs flow through so you just need to be very careful of that with your screwdriver and make sure you don't damage it at all. If you do damage it then just take a small file and file away any burrs that might appear there. Also, I'm going to be fitting a TMVSR10 W hold bucking, which is a 50 degree and very good for the type of BBs that I want to be firing. Uh, the type of weight, which is around about the 0.4, 0.45 gram weight. So here we are getting our new barrel out. We are just going to be installing the bucking on here. You see those two little nubs? They go into the recess of the inner tube. Now in a minute I'm going to have to take this back off again because I forgot that a sleeve for that goes over the inner tube before I even put my bucking over. Here's all the grub screws, you've got two longer ones and one shorter one. The shorter one goes in the bottom of the hop-up unit. I grab some silicon grease here, I help that it helps to push on the hop-up unit as it's quite stiff and should stop any sort of uh, rubbing or breaking of the bucking. There you go, when you've got that all pushed on then you just need to install your grub screws. Two longest ones either side. And your short one goes into the bottom. Bear in mind on the plastic unit that is uh, holding the bucking into place and that you put onto your inner tube before there are whole recesses for those grub screws to go into make sure your grub screws go into those and your grub screws are not protruding or else you will not be able to get your outer barrel back on properly here we go with the spring again i've used a bit of silicon just to hold that in place and that's your little top part of the bucking which pushes down onto the, the little nub, sorry, that we push it down onto the bucking and then all held in place by that o-ring. And as simple as that for assembly really. Now we just need to put it all back together. Make sure you obviously put it the right way up. The feed hole in the bottom. Put your screw back in, make sure that it stays in there nice and flat. Make sure you don't cross thread it. As you can see here, it's sometimes a little hard to get that screw in without cross-threading. But just take your time, make sure it does go in without cross-threading, and then you won't have a problem later on. That's my hop-up screw, we're replacing it for this hop-up screw with a knurling thread on top, or a knurling bolt on top, which should make it easier to adjust our hopping on the field. Especially as the scope usually goes over the top of that, and you usually can't get an Allen key in anyway, so we should be able to easily adjust our hop-up on the field now. Putting our outer barrel back on. However, this is where I did get it wrong, and this is what I was saying about the grub screws. If you don't have the grub screws 
flush and inside that hop up housing then you can't get your outer barrel back on so make sure you line up those grub screws with the holes on that inner plastic piece that sheaths over the inner hop up uh, inner tube so then your outer barrel will screw on no problem and obviously don't forget to line it up and then it will go on fine Then we're just back to full assembly of the gun. Here we go for a few rounds of testing now. So we're getting around about 420 at the minute with 0.2 degrees. Many thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you on the next video. If you have any questions at all then please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below.